Hi guys, so um, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to use SkinGen. Um, this is a plugin from uh, Real Illusions Character Creator 4. So I will be showing you guys how to use that to add depth to your character's face and realism and create high quality characters. So as you can see, I've used Headshot uh, 2.0. To prepare this character, I used this um, uh, average male, I would say, just a male. Um, this is from one of my uh, projects that I was making characters for um, someone else. So as you can see, there's a lot of, it's just, this character feels flat, right? So what we're going to want to do is we're going to give this character some life um so first thing we're gonna do is i'm gonna come up to modify tab here on the right and open up appearance and activate the the skin editor <clears throat> so we're just gonna wait for that to load up before we can proceed it's going to take some time depending on your um, PC specs, but yeah, this is done. Next thing we want to do is we're going to add some details now. We're going to go over to the content browser over here. Um, under skin, we're going to open up full skin. This is the first step. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose the default male. Let me just try and move this to the side here, so we see the before and after. We just have to, we just have to gonna be a bit patient here, because it takes some time to load up. But already, as you can see, the this character is uh, more like uh, an elderly male. Uh, he has wrinkles and everything and yeah as you can see guys um just off one click one double click we have nice changes here right you see the pause is much much visible the character has depth so just to uh, show you guys how this changed on one click i'm just gonna hide all the layers so you can just compare this was the original and this is what we got um so now we're gonna play around with this um we're gonna <clears throat> make him look more like this but i think this did most of the work actually actually like this um so what we're gonna do is we're gonna come back to the content browser and go back to skin and start off in normal effects start on facial wrinkle facial part and uh, since uh, his eyes doesn't have that uh, the crease is not that visible so we're gonna skip it we're gonna add the lip wrinkles click add just wait for it to load up and if you zoom in to the lips here um, if you just adding some definition right there um, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add the neck wrinkle add and as you can see the neck wrinkles is in if I turn this down and turn it up you can you can tell the difference um on his neck right there so I'm just gonna crank it down to about 80 and uh, go back and I think we already and added the the wrinkles here, so I'm not gonna add this again. We're just gonna go back to normal effects. We're done with facial wrinkles. Now we move on to the body. Um, since he's an older male, I think he has a, like a bit musk muscular body because the as they get older, the the muscles just uh, 
stop holding on to like the skin uh, so let's check that out I might be wrong though but uh, just, let's just see how it looks um, as you can see got a bit more muscular there I just like the 60 mark here looks pretty good uh huh gonna add a vascular medium um click ok just wait a bit As you can see, we have uh, veins running down his neck. Right there, you can decrease the opacity. Decide to increase and put it on 50. And uh, since we already reached 15 uh, layers, which is quite um, heavy for my computer because I have a lot of applications on the background, I'm just going to add one more um, detail, which is... Uh, Okay, I'm gonna add two, which is a facial fine wrinkle and the nose pore. So let's just check that out. Wait for, wait for it to load up. But this is already looking good, guys. Um, uh, great. Just gonna put it on about eighty, and this looks amazing. I'm actually not gonna add the nose pose. Oh, let's just see. Let me just add that. Um, as you can see, and I can't get up, the nose pose starts to become more prominent. Yeah, but I think um, this is pretty good, guys. Um, it looks older now. Um, and I'm gonna hide all the layers so you can see how far we've come and just. Uh, Five 10 minutes of work. Gonna hide all, just wait. And this is the base that we started with. And this is where we're at now. So I think I like this. I'm just gonna deactivate the <clears throat> editor there. And uh, yeah. Okay, wait for everything to load back, done, I'm just gonna add hair that um, resembles this style here, so I'm just gonna um, custom hair, group hair, Just gonna find a hair that suits this. Suits him. Um, yeah, I think this is pretty good. It's not that accurate. It uh, definitely needs more work, like the hair color. Um, come down to material here. Let's see how we can work with that. and color black root color it's grayish hair so just gonna give him let me actually add black here and on the end color just add a bit of grayish like that oh no let me add black and then I can the highlights, I guess. Um, highlight A, highlight B, let's check that out. See what we get. Oh, yes. Yeah, much more like it. Um, 
so yeah this is pretty much it um skin gen very very useful to get and achieve your result quicker uh yeah guys please remember to subscribe uh and like the video and yeah oh one more thing what we can do is we can come over here to the actor no 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 yeah uh, the actor expression wrinkles and add a mutual expression to the character gonna look cool just wait for it to load up and i'm um, gonna press on motion here wrinkle check um functional inspection Load up the animation let's see good 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 i think the scalp is way too forward but uh, we're not gonna edit that now but as you can see looks pretty good <laughs> pretty good um looks like an old male as you can see now that is ready for animation so thank you guys see you guys on the next video please remember to comment share like and subscribe all of that um yeah this means a lot so uh thank you guys